Darrell Jazz Johnson here, Gospel Herald, CitySportsReport.com. I'm here with Mrs. Jennifer Steinbrenner Swindell. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Well, you talked about this being your, your favorite week of the year. Why does Hope Week uh, um, make it so? Every year for the last five years, we've had such amazing stories of people helping other people. And it's such a, we're so blessed within the Yankees to have the ability to, to bring light to people who are making a difference in this world. And every single one of the 25 people and their groups that are here in this room have done such huge things to make the world better. So for me to be here, it just every day is, is like Christmas to see, to be able to give a surprise to somebody and make their world better. Yesterday was Father's Day, and it, and it really does seem that, that you and, and your siblings are, are, are doing a great job of, of, of creating programs like this because we know that your, your father was very philanthropic. What does it mean to his legacy for you to continue doing things like this? Well, I thank you. Um, we were very close as a family, and my father always believed that you make the world a better place, but don't tell anybody about it. Do it quietly and behind the scenes. And I like to think that our foundation does that within the Yankees. We try to do as much as we can to make it great. And it really is all about the people here, not about us. One of, one of the remarkable things sitting here at the program is, is, is what a, a fantastic job the organization has done in keeping in contact with the people it helps. Too many times I think we fall short of the goal of doing an annual event where you help people one day of the year, but it really does appear that the Yankees strives to help these people in, uh, uh, through the organization 365 days. How did that part of the organization come about? Well, Jason Zillow and his staff are just have been amazing. And that kind of happened haphazardly the second year as everybody at the last moment, oh, we're going to do, we've got to hear about everybody. And so as we've gotten them together, people have connected on so many fronts that we all have friends within it, you know, and different stories that have very similar stories have become friends and the people that you sit with. And so it's become a big family. The Hope Week family has become a big family. And I really attribute all of that to Jason Zillow and his amazing staff. Well, two things that that you were mentioning that 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 caught caught my eye was a Jason Zillow saying that if there are hurdles, you clear them. And two, one of the last people who spoke mentioned coming coming into an event, and you were hanging up decorations for the event. What what inspires you to do those two things? Two two things that are totally opposite of of the spectrum, but both things that make things like this really really genuine. I think to me, as I said, it was my favorite week. It's not as much about being at the Yankee game. I'm blessed I get to do that. It's about going to the homes and going and serving the food. Um, that's where my heart is, and that's what I love to do. And so that's why it's made it so special to me to be able to do the behind the scenes and to do the actual hands-on with people. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's you. very inspirational what the New York Yankees organization is doing with, with Hope Week. And thank, thank you. you for having us. Appreciate it.